gotta get it out of first. That back tire. <laughs> <laughs> and I came off the bead. Welcome to this week's video you guys uh, i have a very late start it has been about a week actually since i've recorded anything if not longer we have a few things to do um i wanted to record some things i didn't get a chance to record i got a little excited went and picked up a mower i went and bought a mini bike i was gonna unbox the mini bike but i did it in the house with my family so i didn't record any of that and I didn't record getting this mower, but I have, I'll show you what I'm about to do to it now. So let me explain myself. I got this mower here off Marketplace. Uh, I took the deck of it off already. What I'm about to do now is take this battery out and try to get that rear pulley off because I want to make this thing go fast. Obviously, it's the only reason why I want it. Make it go fast. Um, I'm thinking to swap that first, that back pulley first. And then maybe just leave this front pulley alone. Or maybe swap the front pulley. I don't know. I got to see what I want to do here. If I can even get to the back pulley, I might just mess with it first. We'll see. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started on that, though. I'm going to hook this battery first. I have a wrench. I don't know why I didn't grab one. So I'll use these. Okay. I'm a light. Hopefully one of these little pairs will fit in there. Well, I can't get it off uh, a decently easy way, so I think I'm just gonna get a cut off wheel and cut it. I shove this welding blanket up in there because this thing leaks a little bit of fuel. And I don't want to get a fire going in my garage. Let's give it a try.
I mean, I was struggling there for a little bit, but I decided to use my air hammer. And uh, I should have used the air hammer as soon as I, I don't know what I was thinking, the air hammer. It's an air hammer. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It hammers things off very powerfully. Uh, it took this off with ease. I don't, I've been out here forever fighting this thing, cutting it, beating it, prying it. And all I had to do was get the air hammer out. It is one o'clock in the morning, so I was trying to be a little quiet, but I just did it quick. I'll show you how it looks now. Pulleys off there. Uh, the pulley I'm going to be putting on is going to be like this big. And that should speed this thing up a, a fair amount. If I don't like how fast it is, then I'm going to put like a bigger pulley up in the front. And all that good stuff. I got to figure out a belt size and all that. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like three inches smaller. I don't know. We'll figure all that out later. All right, I got back on the uh, back on the ground. I, I, I didn't jack it up, but what I'm gonna do here now is get this shifter off for the deck, and uh, probably that little rod right there. I don't know what it goes to. Well, not the rod. This I meant. All this goes to the the blade. So I'm gonna get rid of it to get it out of my way. It's almost like I knew that there was going to be more cotter pins under here. It's crazy. Now let's see how this comes apart. Hmm. This looks like a little, it'd be a little more tricky to take apart. I just leave this on here. I think I got this thing stripped down as far as I'm going to take it for now. I th I'm just going to leave this on here. Uh, I think I, if to take it off, I have to take a lot more stuff off just to get this out of the way. And I'm just going to leave it there. I don't remember. I was going to look at that and see where, where it went. But I really don't know what that does, to be honest. I think it might be the clutch. Yeah, it is. We'll have to tighten up the steering and stuff on it later on, but. These things have horns, I wonder. I don't know, I doubt it. I'm gonna get my crap cleaned up and go get some tubes and a new pulley tomorrow on a belt. All right, you guys, I got the pulley swapped on here. I didn't show you because it's pretty simple. Uh, we did drive it. I'm gonna show you those clips now. As you can tell, she's a lot faster. By uh, she's pretty fast. Uh, I wish I was recording because the shifter's messed up on it. Well, I fixed it now, but I took off on it in my first, second gear. I put the clutch in. The belt was too tight, so it. I or I had it on wrong actually. So I, when I put the clutch in, it went faster. <laughs> so it didn't stop. I put it in neutral, which neutral was reverse, and I went flying into this cabinet right here. It, I shut it off immediately, but I still hit this thing pretty hard. 
Nothing broke. I didn't hit my car, thank God. But that's funny. Uh, I wish I was recording. I really do. But uh, I'm going to do the, a bigger pulley on the front. But I'm, I'm done for the mower for right now until I get some parts. I'm going to show you guys what we're gonna about to go do here now. So uh, let me show you. This is the Rambler 16. You guys can look it up. There's unboxing videos, reviews on it, and all that good stuff. I didn't do one because I mean, there's so many out there. This thing's pretty sweet, though. We're going to ride it around. I'm going to record and show you, show you some cool things in my neighborhood. I'm going to try to set up a tripod on the on the uh, handlebars there. So let me see if I can figure that out. This is what I came up with. So hopefully it stays on here. It should, so we'll see. Hill here, so I don't know how good it'll be. We're at my high school, actually. If anybody cares, I'll show you here in a little bit. We're up on the hill, where we were seven years ago when I went to high school. <laughs> this camera's a little floppy. I'll probably have to walk this thing up here, too. Let's see. Is it gonna make it? Yeah, I think it's going to. Go back here, I'll show you guys the hill. Ugh. You see the city down there. I'm gonna actually go further up. So let's, let's go. It's kind of hard to drive with the phone in your hand. See the whole city from up here. They're down there practicing football. like this type of videos I can always I can always do more of these videos if you guys like screws around my town showing you stuff right here's a I'm about to figure out a camera too because this thing ain't doing too good if I focus it up it'll be better a little tunnel right here all these bumps in the road definitely do not help It looks like crap when I'm up to the end of this. It's not been shaking. It's cold in here. Yep, this is where I went to school, though. Graduated in 2017. I do miss it sometimes. Just being around all your friends. You don't realize that once you leave high school, that uh, all the friends that you had, you know, they move on. They, they get their own life started. They, some of them move, don't hear from them forever. And when you do see them, it's always brief and awkward to talk, to talk to them. So don't say, you don't know. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you understand. Now, I could go down this hill straight ahead, but then I gotta cross over the highway. So I think I'm just gonna go in front of the school. Because last time I went down that hill, I had to. Just scary because of how fast it gets going. Yeah. Let's go. I guess we're going. We're going pretty damn fast. Oh, it's scary. I didn't even use any speed on that. That was straight hill. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can even hear me right now. I might have to get a microphone. Probably will have to get a microphone because all the wind and I doubt you can hear me. I don't know if this footage will even be usable. We'll try though.
go up over the overpass. This thing doesn't do too good on hills, I'll tell you that much. Top speed's only 15 miles an hour. Pick it up right here. out all that all that traffic a lot of graffiti up here in trash if you guys like that type of videos I'm doing here just let me know I mean I can always do more of these I can upgrade for uh, trying to get a better camera setup and a microphone the way you can actually see me maybe look at like a, a thing that goes here and, you know have a, a gopro there just let me know well if you like this stuff we'll keep doing it we'll keep going though it's getting a little dark I'll try to find something else to show you back to my house now i've been riding it for almost an hour this is 45 minute charge time but it's still Right my mailbox. It's still at the yellow charge line. It's getting dark, so it's time to bring her on home. Uh, if you guys would like to... That's going to be it for this week, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I kind of threw it together because I've been slacking on uploading things. It's hard to keep finding things to record, but uh, I'm going to keep doing the smaller videos because I plan on doing some cool things with it, so I stay tuned for that. I'm not the only person on e eBay. I don't know why I said eBay. On YouTube that has done things with mowers, but I'm kind of copying, but I think it's really cool. And I'm going to maybe paint it. I don't know, maybe maybe later on, maybe paint some of this, make it look pretty cool. But my plans with this mower is to lower it and stuff like that. So I can stay tuned for those videos. This should be the next video I'll upload. Don't know when it'll be. Hopefully it'll be next week. It's my plan. It's weekly videos, what I'd like to do. So if you guys like that, uh, like, subscribe, share if you want. And if you like the how I drove around, you could, I guess you could let me know on that too. Um, uh, it's almost 4th of July, so happy 4th. It's Saturday now, so 4th of July is Tuesday. So this will be uploaded before then. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Don't burn, blow your hands up with fireworks or nothing like that. Use them safely. I know I've done some sketchy things in the past, and it's, you get in the moment. Actually, what we used to do with the old heavy Chevy Brown Big Bertha over here, she used to backfire real loud. And on 4th of July, we'd, we'd rev this thing all day long, and it would just, like a shotgun, boom, boom. Every time you let off, it would blow. And it was loud, backfired so freaking loud. Uh, I have some some funny memories with this thing. I, I would get called on by the cops saying that shots fired multiple times by a, it was Starbucks. Then it was somewhere by the Wrights football game. Um, it was, the big one was Starbucks though, because they made a, an Evansville watch post about it. And they called 911 saying somebody was shooting by Starbucks. Oh man, it was so funny. It doesn't backfire no more. So that's, that's good. It's kind of sad in a sense, but if it, if it's still backfired, this van would probably be blown up by now. But we're getting off subject. Happy 4th of July. Like, subscribe, share. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next video.